Welcome to the video everyone. Um, today I'm going to show you five attacking moves that every attack minded player should know, and not only know, but should use in matches. If you can master these five moves, or at least get your ability for each to a just a great level, you will be that much more effective in games. Just so much more effective in games. Now what I'm going to do, I've broken the video down a little. This intro video, shortly after this intro video, which won't take much longer, I promise, we'll get into the footage. Um, I'm going to first show you a slow down version of the move so that you can see how the move is done with me explaining how this move is actually performed. So that way you're not just looking at a video of me doing the move in a fast pace because that way you might not exactly know what you should, the steps are and how to do it. So first I'm going to show you how to actually do the move, then I'll show you it's sped up. And at the end of this video, um, I will give you my suggestion on how to improve the, doing these moves and how you can practice. I'll also put that in the description, just a little practice routine you can do every day or every other day to improve these moves. So after saying all that, let's get into it. You'll find the first I'll name the move. Um, I'll do the slow version, then the sped up version. I actually have some match footage of myself doing some of these moves in a match. Now before um, and if you criticize the competition, it was a co-ed league. I was just playing in for fun. A friend invited me to play a few games um, on the team. So it's not the best competition, but I promise you, you get good in these moves and you can use it against almost any competition. And many professional players at the highest level use these moves. So let's get right on to the footage. All right, everyone. Now I'm going to show you how to do a step over. It's a very, very effective move for any attacking player in and around the box or on the wing. Um, I'll show you how to do it slowly, and then I'll have a clip of me doing it quickly. But I even have some game footage to go with it as well. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Usually when you do it, you want to be running at the defender, hitting the ball with the outside of your foot, quickly come over it, and go out the other way. So with the left, you'll be running at the defender, time it, left way, and that way. You want to give it a little bit of a lean the way you step. So if you're using your right foot, you not only want to step over, you want to lean. So you're also selling it with a lean while also stepping that way. So if I'm going to do it a little bit faster, uh, I'll come at you. It looks like this. Okay? So with the left, same thing. Now it's very important. Although you should be doing this with speed, running at the fender, um, in the clip I'll show you, you'll see a perfect example of what I'm about to say. You don't want to be going full speed at them. You want to be going at a moderate pace, do your step over, and then burst after you've done the step over. Just burst right past them. Because when they take that little step that your fake is going to make them do, while they're kind of off balance like that, you want to just sprint into that space you just created. So basically, you'll go up, you'll do Come at moderate pace, you'll do your step over and then you'll, bl you'll burst into space. So it'll look like this. I don't have much space here, but I'll try not to run into a wall. So you're going at decent pace, then you burst. Okay? So decent pace, then burst. And that, my friends, is how you do the step over. Now we're going to move on to one of the most effective moves you can use, and the best player in the world uh, currently, Lionel Messi, has mastered this move, and it's one of the main reasons that and his great ball control, um, along with some other attributes, that makes him such a formidable player. Now the body feint is, um, it looks very simple, uh, but it has to be executed right for it to be effective. One of the great things about it is you can do it and keep the ball still under very good control to set yourself up for your next move or recover. So, the body feint, slow down, just looks like this. Uh, this is one you can do while moving or you can do it static where you just do the feint, throw them off, turn around, do whatever. So, running at someone, it just 
You're gonna take your, you're gonna lean, walk on your foot past it and go the other way. So coming from this end, whatever way you wanna go, you lean and go the other way. A little bit faster, it looks like this. Make sure you do your left foot as well. So as you can see, you not only want to kind of drop your shoulder on the side you want to fake, you also want your foot to go past the ball like this. So not only is your body faint, your lean kind of selling the move, but it also looks like your foot's going to take the ball. It looks like you're going to go like this with the ball. But try it so that you're not getting your foot past the ball. It's trying to get as close to the ball without touching it. Well, but while also concentrating on your body faint. So again, low, let me just do a couple fast ones so you can see again, gain pace. I'm just gonna do a few. So I come in like that. Oh. And really sell it, really lean. Stay on your toes, really lean. Be ready for your next move. Okay, we're going to quickly explain the chop or the fake chop move, a move that you can see players like Robin Van Persie doing, Suarez, Eden Hazard, Thierry Henry used it a lot when he was playing Arsenal in his prime. Um, and the reason these really great players use this move is because it's so effective. Now, it's really effective in and around the box because you're giving off the illusion that you're going to shoot it, but then turning it back onto your other foot. So let me show you what it looks like slow. So basically, if I'm going to fake with my right foot, I'm going to go to the defender. I'm going to do like a little fake and go to the right. I want him to almost know that I'm doing it so that he kind of moves there before me. So I'm doing it, maybe a bad fake, come here, chopping it, and then I got the shot with my left. Same with the left, say I do like a move. I like doing a step over when I'm going to do it on my left because it it makes it look like I'm going to do the step over and then shoot. So I'll do like a, a step over, come over here, chop it back to my right, and then curl into a corner. So here's what it looks like a little bit faster. So let's say I have Matthews onto my foot. Yeah. That one wasn't great, but let me try it with my left. So I don't know if you, I don't know if you actually saw that, so let me do it again. Okay guys, I'm going to really quickly also break down the Maradona, something everyone thinks is complicated, but it's uncomplicated. First off, some notice I messed up once in that video. Don't get frustrated if you mess up during practice, okay? Just pick your head up and do it again and do it again until you get it right. So here's how you do it. I might have to come down here a little bit, but if my opponent is coming from the ball at an angle or they're kind of facing me and they're over here, this is perfect when he comes in. The best thing about Maradona is as I come around, I'm shielding the ball now. So the only way he's gonna get it is foul me, or just not get it at all if I execute it right. And then I come off. So this is a move you really only want to do when the defender's coming at you at an angle. If he's straight ahead of you and you turn you kind of like turn like this, the ball you just expose the ball to him and you kind of expose what move you're gonna use. So it looks like this. What I would suggest is knock him to the side to draw him to the at an angle. So if you notice in the video, I was kind of knocked to the side first. So knocked to the side, defender's going to follow, and I come, he's already over here, in here, and I spin away, and I'm shielding. Same with the left, kind of knock it in the space, touch, touch, shield, and go. So again, a little bit faster, it looks like this. Yeah? So, okay. This one is a little harder to do, but it can be really, really effective, so keep practicing it.
Okay, guys, I'm going to really quickly show you how to do a Stanley Matthews. Uh, I don't want us to drag on so long, so let's get right into it. Um, it's usually good around the box for shooting or if you're on the wing and you want to come back towards the center. So here's how you do it. Say I have a defender in front of me. It's just leaning one way, touch, touch, like that. That's the slow down version. I'll do the slow with my left. So touch, touch, then you can shoot. One more time. It's touch, touch, and you can shoot. The dial looks fast. Touch, touch. Then shoot and do whatever you want. Okay, everyone, thank you for watching the video. I promise you, and I'm 100% sure, that if you do these moves daily, you'll become a much more dynamic player in the attack for your team, in practices, and you'll impress a lot of people, and you'll just get so much better. Um, in the description below, I have a little training regimen you can follow. Um, it's kind of like a daily thing you can do, just little practices with the ball, doing these moves that will cause you to become better. You can either follow that or configure one of your own. It's up to you, but I promise to you, if you stick to the one I've given you, you will, within as little as a week, see improvements um, of your ability on each of these moves. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me today. Um, please leave a like if this helped you in any way. Um, also, it would be a big favor to me if you subscribe because you'll um, help me out and you'll also see upcoming videos on more soccer tips both for attacking and defending players along with much more great content for any soccer player of any level. Alright guys, I look forward to the next video and thanks for tuning in.